Moving on, Garden Reach Ship Builders is the next stock and the next company on our radar. Now, the company recently entered into a contract with the Indian Register of Shipping for the development of green energy and autonomous vessels. To talk about this, we have uh, with us Mr. P.R. Hari, Chairman and Managing Director of Garden Reach Ship Builders. Thanks, sir, Mr. Hari, for joining in. Great to have you on the show, sir. So, you know, just put this in context, um, green energy and autonomous vessels, uh, every, it's all about going green across industries, right? So why should shipping be any different, I guess? Just tell us what it entails and, you know, how does it play in with your order book? Your target for this financial year, uh, FY24, was, I think, 24,000 crores in terms of order book. So are you going to be exceeding that? Uh, question number one and question two, uh, how will this whole uh, green energy vessels, how will they add to your order booking as we look at the next financial year? Thank you, Srabi. And uh, before I answer your question, uh, on, for seven quarters on the trot, our uh, performance has been, our financial performance has been on an upward trend. And uh, specifically for the nine month ending uh, 31st December 2023, both the revenue from operations and the profit after tax have been the highest in the history of the company. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, 2,577 crores that our revenue from operations and 245 crores our profit after tax have already surpassed what we achieved during the full financial year FY23. Now, coming to your specific questions, one on the order book uh, status and the link to that, the green energy. Our order book as on 31st December 23 is uh, rupees 22,792 crores. And uh, this comprises mostly of uh, warship building orders. And we are currently executing uh, four projects for the Indian Navy. There is a P-17 Alpha project, uh, three warships, the anti-submarine shallow watercraft project, eight ships, the next generation ocean-going patrol vessels, four ships, and three survey vessel large. Now, the survey vessel large is a four-ship project, and we have already delivered the first ship uh, as recently as uh, December 23. And uh, that is the largest survey vessel to be built in India. And for the record, we have so far delivered 71 warships to the Indian Navy and a total of 109 warships to the maritime forces. That means the Navy, the Coast Guard, and a couple of friendly foreign nations. Mm -hmm. So we are doing well. And uh, coming to green energy, uh, this has been a focus area for us. And this is an area where we see huge uh, market potential. Considering, in our appreciation, the inland water transportation segment of India would, in all, re in all uh, reality, go green in the next five to 10 years. Considering that uh, we had uh, made a foray into this, and as we speak, uh, the handing over ceremony of the first uh, green vessel that we have built for the government of West Bengal, and again, this is the largest to be built in the country in terms of passenger capacity that is going on today. The vessel has already undergone successful trials and it is being handed over today. Sure. Now, Mr. To Hari, uh, if, yeah, if you can just help us with some numbers, uh, what exactly would this entail in terms of the amount of orders in the green energy space? And also, you know, your total order book currently is somewhere around 23,000 crores. What is the kind of order visibility that you have over the next 12 to 18 months? And what is the order execution that you are planning to do of this order book? Okay, the coming to the I'll first address the execution strategy. The current order book, as I mentioned, is 22,792 crores. And as per our execution strategy, this order book will be executed. There's 18 warships plus our balance orders will be executed by FY28. And what are the orders on the anvil? Now, both the Navy and the Coast Guard are on a massive uh, fleet expansion drive. And coming to a project that we have been eagerly looking forward to, that is the next generation corvettes for the Navy, we expect the RFP to come out uh, during the current uh, calendar year, that is mid of 2025. Mr. Hari, Mr. Hari yeah. we're just going to, uh, you know, fix the bit of a technical snag that we have. We're going to come back to you because we want to hear out the numbers that you're giving us. Uh, as we do that, just do, do a quick market check. The advanced decline ratio got a little closer to each other, and now they're moving apart again because there is a good recovery that we've seen. The Nifty from being down close to under 100 points, it's recovered. Now we're down less than 50 points. The Nifty Bank, as I said, that's playing a good innings. Well, that's up close to around 100 points odd. And what's leading the recovery? Well, you have a few stocks. BPCL, you have a cooling off in oil prices. BPCL likes that, so that stock has moved up. Apollo Hospitals as well, that's one of the big volume movers uh, right now. And Bajaj Auto is another one that's done a U-turn. So 
good move out there. Absolutely, and even Amber Enterprises, right? Five percent higher now. CLSC has upgraded Amber to a buy, and they've raised their target price to forty-three hundred on the stock. That one is really surging now, five and a half percent higher. But I think Mr. Hari is back with us. Sorry, Mr. Hari, we had some audio issues. You were telling us about the order execution and also what is the order visibility uh, over and above this twenty-three thousand crores order that you're sitting on. What's the order visibility over the next twelve to eighteen months? Okay, order execution by FY28, the current order book, order visibility. We are expecting the RFP for the next generation corvettes to come out by mid of this year. That means around June, July, the RFP could come out. And this is the high value order, 36,000 crores is the AON that has been taken for this project uh, from the DAC. And we, considering the, the RFP to ordering stage, we expect the order to be placed by mid of 25. And this is an eight ship project. Uh, 36,000 crores split between two shipyards, the lead shipyard getting five ships. So we are targeting that that five ships. And uh, that comes to around 2,500. In addition to that, Navy also is likely to come up with RFPs for the next generation survey vessel. Five of these vessels, around 3,500 crores. Uh, that is the likely value to multi-purpose vessels, uh, around 1,200 crores. And of course, mm. uh, what we are eagerly waiting for, the P-17 Bravo ships. We are currently executing the P-17 Alpha uh, three ships, and we expect uh, this order to be placed uh, during mid of next year. Now, so this is what is likely in the next uh, 12 to 18 months from the Indian Navy. In addition to that, even the Coast Guard has got requirement for 18 FPVs and uh, six ocean-going patrol vessels. Okay. All right. Uh, hi, Mr. Hari. Good morning and good to see you. Ben, as you started off, you know, you said that the financial performance has been very good according to you and you've seen growth consecutively for close to around seven quarters odd. And going by all that you're saying, the order pipeline looks like around one lakh crore odd and you'll be looking to get, uh, you know, a lot of orders out there. But I want to focus a little bit more on the execution. You have told us most of these orders will be executed by 2028. I'm looking at a brokerage node. And in FY24, they are estimating that you do around 3,400 crores, which appears you're pretty much on track. So 3,400 crores. The following year goes to around 4,100 crores. And by FY26, will you be closer to 5,000 crores, sir? See, you're, you're absolutely bang on because 22,000 uh, or 700 crores we are left. And as I mentioned, they will be executed by 28. You're right on target. It could be around those figures that you mentioned. Right. So we are going with 3,400 crores, followed by 4,100 crores and 4,900 uh, crores. It would be, see, uh, as of 31st December 2,577. So mathematics and logic and our current execution strategy and the project maturity phase indicates you are on the right track. We are on the All right, right track. So by, by, let's talk about 26 at least. Six, uh, around uh, around 5,000 crores is definitely on the cards, right? By FI26. One of these, one of these years, either FI25, 26, we should be crossing the 5,000 figure. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. So it could be earlier than I anticipated. Maybe F525 or 26. Let us see. You see, the P7 and Alpha is our major project firm where the maximum yeah. revenue accrual happens. And this project okay. is right now in a phase where the equipment are going in. So we expect mm. uh, revenue contribution from this project in a substantial manner in F525 and 26. Okay. And the margin number that you want to give us, the PBT, I think you were working with 8-9%. Could you just revise that number before we let you go, Mr. Hari? We'll maintain the same uh, similar uh, margins in terms of both the PAT and PB. So that's around 8-9%, eight, eight, right? Yes, affirmative. Okay, 8-9% margins eight. affirmative and looking at uh, more opportunities in the whole uh, green transition space with regards to stripping as well. Mr. Hari, thank you very much for joining in and giving us a business outlook. That's Garden Reach Shipbuilders. Bye.